Hello YouTube viewers, please like, share, and, and subscribe. Thank you. Now, be, 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 before I be, be, begin, if you need to do anything before you watch this video, please do it right now while, while I set my timer for this video. Set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay. Now, I'm not saying this video will be 10 minutes, but that's as long, that's the longest I'll, I'll make it, I promise you. But now, but now, t t to the, the point of this vi video, listen, for those of you who say that Israel has no right, I mean, that, for those of you who say that the Jewish people have no right to Israel, you are dead wrong. God Almighty said in his word that that land belongs to them. Why do you think there have been so many terrorist attacks among you? Among you? Why do you think you're so poor? Why do you think you're so impro Im Why do you think you're starving? Why do you think you're so, um, uh, you're so, um, why do you think you're not as, as prosperous as the nations who bless Israel are, such as the United States of America? Listen, just look in the Bible, Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah, and the Roman Empire. They are all dead because they did not bless Israel. Listen, I am warning you, if you do not bless Israel, the Lord will not bless you. And to Israel, the Lord has told me to, to tell you, fear not, didn't the Lord save Abram's nephew Lot? Didn't he, didn't he save Noah when he flooded the entire, the entire earth? Didn't he restore you to your own land? The Lord would say unto you, read Isaiah 41. Be not afraid, O Israel, be not dismayed, for I am your God, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He says unto the J Jewish people and to all Jews who are terrified, or scared at all. Fear not, be not afraid. I will take care of you. Luke 10, 19 says, Nothing shall by any means hurt you or, or God's people. Will you read his word? Will you know that he loves you? The Bible says, Come unto me, you who are wearied and heavy laden, and I will, and I will give you rest. Jesus died for you. He loves you, and to all Jews everywhere, that land, the nation of Israel, belongs to you. In fact, one moment, and, and, and I'll see if I can play you exactly what Luke 10, 19 says. One moment, and I'm, and I'm so, sorry if the video was longer than planned. I know it's not been 10 minutes yet, but, 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 but I'm still trying to, trying to get, get it ready, and... Sorry, that 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 was another another national anthem playing that I didn't need. Just one moment. Whoops. Here we go. Just a second. Here we uh here we are. Luke ten. After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, 
eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which had been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shalt be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Now, in that hour Jesus rejoiced. Didn't, didn't the Bible say, nothing shall by any means hurt you? That is talking about two things. Nothing shall by any means hurt God's people or the Jews. And the Jews are God's chosen people. So, what do you think about that, Jew haters? God loves the Jewish people and he loves you. But he will not allow you to hurt his people. If you, if you don't believe that God loves you too, read John 3.16 in the New King James Version Bibles or New Living, Transla or New Living Translation Bibles. Read John 3.16 in either of those Bibles and you will see that he loves you. Please like, share, and su subscribe. Thank you.